All right. Okay, what are we doing today? All right, so we're going to start off today. We're going to do, it's called Nali Kriya. And you may never have heard of that name. Uh, if you YouTube it, there's definitely lots of videos on it. Uh, it's basically part of the pranayama practice. And I would say it's probably, I mean, one of the staples. So we, you know, alternate nostril breathing, everyone that practices pranayama, they know that, they do that. Uh, and Nali as well, that's, it's one of the staples. So a um, bit more advanced, I guess, than, you know, regular breathing that we've done, but I think we're like week five or six in. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, we'll give it a shot and just start off like kind of the first second step of it. We won't be doing the full practice because it takes some time to develop the abdomen and the core muscles in order to do it. Okay, so, so this is stomach breathing. It's, yeah, I would say, I mean, it's basically uh, the absence of breathing. Oh, so okay. um, we've done, you know, where we did the box breathing, mm -hmm. where you would exhale and hold your breath. So it's harder than, you know, it's easier to hold your breath with oxygen in your lungs than exhaling and holding it out. So it's basically working on that section. Okay. And uh, so I will say, <clears throat> make sure that you do this on an empty stomach. Um, the best thing is just to do it in the morning, you know, every morning when you wake up before you eat anything. Okay. Um, so your stomach's basically empty. You can go to the bathroom, of course, uh, eliminate everything you can from the, from the abdomen. So that's a good thing to know. Um, if it's during the day, I mean, you want to wait probably a couple hours. So, um, so yeah, just do this in the morning when you get up. That's the best way. Okay, great. All right. So <clears throat> I haven't done it for a while, but I've been uh, trying it out a couple times this week. The easiest way is going to be to stand. Okay. And basically, brace your hands on your legs. Turn my camera up. Okay. So we'll see how this angle works. Yep, you you look good on that angle. Okay. So basically, I'll just show you here quick. So exhale, or sorry, let's breathe a couple times first. Okay. This full breath. And then on the next inhale, exhale, I'm going to hold my breath out. All right, how'd that look? I could see your stomach looked, we'll say, concave, right? Like it kind yeah. of fits in. So you're basically, you're pulling everything. Once you get rid of the oxygen, you're sucking everything in. So it's going to work in the massage, it basically to massage the abdomen and the core. Okay. And uh, for any like elimination problems, anything like that, it's okay. going to, it'll actually just churn your whole abdomen. So. If you're constipated or anything, it's gonna work itself out. Okay, so when you, you're breathing in and then you exhale, you get rid of everything, your last breath basically, and then you hold and then you pull in? Yeah, so you exhale as much as much air as you possibly can. Okay. So I'll show you again. Okay. <sighs> okay. So after you exhale, you just you just flip the stomach in, okay. and it should be totally concave. Okay. Maybe just do that, and I'll have a look. Okay. It's a bit hard to see with the angle, but anyway, um, once once the, all the oxygen's out. You yeah. just you just basically pull your belly button in as as much as you can, and it should like so you should be able to put like a fist kind of in that space in that hollow space of your abdomen. Like I feel like it's. Yeah, I feel yeah. Okay, so then we'll just do the next step, which is the pumping. Okay. So. Basically, once 
once I get the uh, the air out of my body, okay. I'm gonna just, I guess, basically pump my stomach. So it's kind of like flexing your abs. Um, yeah, I'll just show you and see if we can have a look at the angle. So again, um, just hold your hands and brace your, brace your upper body on your legs like that. All right, exhale. So I feel, <sighs> I feel like I can kind of pump my stomach like that, but that I'm kind of breathing in and out with it when I do it, or should I be? Okay. You're holding your breath out the whole time. Okay. So it's basically, it's it's called stomach vacuum or vacuum breathing, I don't know, stomach vacuum. So you suck all the air out and then you're just, you're just using your, you're just basically, it's called pumping it once you do it and it feels like pumping them. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so it's, it's, it does work and strengthen your abdomen. Okay. There's a, a workout YouTuber that I follow quite closely. And he said he's, he was doing Nolly a whole bunch. Yeah. And it really just helped firm up and learn how to control your abdomen and the, and the muscles. Like it's, cause you can do crunches and it's like, it's a certain flex. Yeah. Then when you're doing this, it's like almost like an internal opposite to a crunch. Okay. So it, it really works your core. So, you know, try it again. Okay. Do it at the same time. Okay. I just do it as long as, like once I need oxygen, I just let it go. Okay. So it's that time, you know, a few, hopefully a few seconds, a few breaths, okay. um, that you're not breathing and you have no oxygen in your body. Okay. As much as you can get rid of. All right, let's go. Inhale, exhale. So once you release, you need to like suck in air right away if you did it yeah. right. It takes some practice and, um, you know, over, I remember doing it in yoga teacher training and over weeks. So, I mean, we would start off standing and then we would be in some kind of kneeling posture doing it. And then eventually, you know, sitting, it's just harder to get, get it working from seated. So, I mean, it would take, you know, weeks or months to, to get to that or years. Yeah. Um, and I think the training of two, just bit, like for me, as soon as I went to go kind of do that with my stomach, it's like yeah. I wanted to inhale again. So like yeah. holding your breath and yeah. then working through it as much as you can before you kind of inhale again. Yeah, I mean, once you need to inhale, you'll just, you'll stop and you'll inhale. Okay. So it's, yeah, it's good because it picks up on that absence breathing that we did on the box breathing okay. and it, and you're actually moving. So I'm going to just try one time here with a little bit of rolling, okay. see if I can do a little bit and then we'll be done. <laughs> That's so, great. Yeah, when I used to practice, it was like pretty good on one side, I remember. And the yeah. other side was like a little bit rocky. So but, are, you, uh, are you trying to roll like this way? Or is it more like when like, yeah once you get it like once you have it you it'll just roll like it'll be like a wave okay right? it'll just roll and okay. then you should be able to obviously go both ways okay i mean once you see it like professionally done or whatever they realize like the amount of control you can have with your abdomen and really i mean you really can it's called uh like abdominal massage which okay. is awesome and yeah. people don't know about it normally so so if we want to practice over the next week here we're yeah. going to breathe in we're going to breathe out once yeah. we've got everything out yeah i mean take a coming. few take a few breaths okay. and like you know wor warm everything up mm -hmm. you know don't just jump into it like i mean we jumped into it a little bit today but you can definitely take some 
I mean, you could even just do some regular breathing for, you know, your one or two minutes. Yeah. And, or some of the other breathing exercises that we've done. Okay. And then do this at, like at the end, because this is more physical, obviously. So it's, this is like the, you know, warm up, warm up first. Yeah. And then ex, and then once you're ready, just exhale everything you possibly can. And then hopefully your stomach just sucks in. And then you can, I mean, you can hold it or you can start on the, I mean, start off on the pumping. Okay. And, you know, you would probably do that for a while until you feel comfortable. Eventually, just like when you have the muscle control, you'll like, I remember it just started rolling. And then once I figured out that motion. Yeah. It, you can strengthen it. Yeah. So getting stre- the like it takes some strengthening and, strength. and it takes time, but it's, yeah. it's kind of cool. And it is one of the no- staple items of pranayama. So. I love it. Yeah, Thank awesome. you so much for sharing that. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to actually, I think I'm going to do a, another one after we get off the video here just to kind of test it out again. Yeah, I mean, you can do it any, anytime. You're, this week. But yeah, yeah, I mean, you yeah. can do it every, every as long as your stomach's empty in the morning. And yeah, yeah it's, even it's after not like hurt. a yoga practice, I feel like after you, right before you almost go into Shavasana kind of at the end, yeah. it feels like you could almost kind of step into this. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Yeah. Great. Awesome. All right, so that's it for today. Nice talking to you and uh, talk to you soon. Sounds good.